Okay, salam. Uh, so I'm gonna start solving this certain type of questions, and actually, it contains um, an idea. So the question is about redox reactions, and we can start reading it. The oxidation number should be used to answer this equation. So you have to put in your mind like the oxidation states. And the question says, a redox reaction takes place between hydroxyl ammonium ion, which is this, and acidified iron three ions. The products are iron plus two, hydrogen plus, and water, and a compound of nitrogen. Then we can translate all of this stuff in here to an equation. And it says that you have hydroxyl ammonium plus iron plus three leads to give water X, which is a compound of nitrogen, H plus, and iron plus two. The question says also, the more ratio of reacting hydroxyl ammonium ions to reacting iron plus three is one to two. So we can go to the equation in here and we can say the, re the ratio between the reactants is one to two. Which nitrogen containing compound could be formed in this reaction? We just remember something about the nitrogen oxides. They do not have a fixed oxidation number. So you could have, if you calculate the oxidation number of all of these, all of these are different, so it's not fixed. So in our rule today, we're going to fix, or let's say find out the oxidation number of nitrogen. Okay, so according to the balancing of this equation, as we can see here, you will take the pairs. So we can take the first pair in here, which is ammonium hydroxide, and it's relatable ion, or let's say the corresponding compound after the ion, which is X, which is a compound of nitrogen. And for sure, iron plus three and plus two. So we just remember something when we write like iron, and we write the, I mean, like the products, like NH3OH plus. In this case, you have to show me the difference in the oxidation number. If you look at iron in here, the oxidation number, or let's say the final oxidation number is two minus three, then the, the difference is negative one. If the difference here is negative in this iron, then it will be positive in the other element. So if you ask me why do we have one of these is positive and one of these is negative, the reason behind because we have redox reaction. We have increasing the oxidation number and decreasing the oxidation number. So once you have increasing the oxidation number, for sure the difference is positive. And once you have decreased, then it's negative. Actually, we notice that here iron has been reduced and that's why because we have decreasing the oxidation number. So its oxidation number here is, uh, or let's say the difference is negative one. But we have a problem. Do we know the the difference in the oxidation number of this one here? If we have ammonium hydroxide in here, and as we can see, ammonium hydroxide, um, like we can calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in this compound, but we don't know the nitrogen compound in here. So how can I calculate the oxidation number? The ratio here that is given to you, it tells you that the one here is for the negative one. It, like we're talking about the absolute values. So this one negative in here represents the one in here, the ratio. Then we can deduce or guess the, the difference in this compound, which is two. So is it positive or negative two? It's positive two since it's negative in here. Okay, so the mole ratio in here tells you about the changes in the oxidation numbers. Okay, the mole ratio is the same as the changes in the oxidation numbers. Perfect. So we can make a small calculations down here. Okay, we can calculate what is the oxidation number of nitrogen in this compound. So we can say N plus. We have uh, four hydrogens, then it's four times one, like, yeah. And we have only one oxygen, which is negative two. And the overall charge is plus one. So here nitrogen equals two. Uh, we have uh, two, we just move it here, and then we can have negative one. Then, the oxidation number of nitrogen, the first compound, is negative one. Okay, so, you notice that the redox reaction, it's final minus initial, right? And equals two plus two. So, if the initial is, 
like you don't know the final, which is the, the, the wanted one, minus what is the initial, it's, it's negative one. And as we can see, if you look at the final, it's final plus one equals to two. You would put this one here, then the final oxidation number is plus one. Okay, so if you go to the oxidation numbers in here of these compounds, which of these shows the oxidation number of nitrogen of positive one? So if you go here for ammonia, for example, I just want to get rid of all of these answers in here. Um, look at this. If this plus a three, then it's negative three. No, it's not here. And if you look at N2O, yeah, you can say 2N minus 2 equals 0, then 2N equals 2, then N equals 1. Nitrogen, N2O is the answer since the nitrogen atom's oxidation number is plus 1. If you come here, um, it's negative 2, then it's positive 2. It's not right. And if you come here, it's negative 4, then it's plus 4. Then your answer definitely is B.